Let's continue learning about conditional compilation. In this video tutorial, let's learn about if, elif, else and and if directives. So we have written if and and if. We have something called marks here. So in, in this if directive, the expression following it, the condition should be 0 or 1. If it's 0, the code inside if and and if doesn't get executed. If it's non-zero number, then only the code, the snippet of code present inside if and and if gets compiled and executed. So let me show that to you. This marks, which is macro template by the way, isn't even defined, okay? So let me compile and run this. So the code inside if and and if is skipped from compilation. Now let me define this marks. Even with the definition like this, this line of code isn't highlighted. That means it won't get compiled. So the condition is this mark should be zero or one. If it's zero, it will be skipped. If it's non-zero, then the block of code gets executed. Non-zero, any number which is not zero. Okay, so you could even use logical operators directly inside this condition of if so let me take 35 as macro expansion inside if i'll check if marks is greater than 40 which is false which returns zero okay let me put that inside parenthesis like this so that we could club multiple conditions we could use logical operators arithmetic operations and ternary operators or anything like this in this condition okay here i am checking if marks is less than or equal to 100 and as well as and means marks should be greater than or equal to 80 in that let me output grade a okay let me change this marks 35 to something which holds good for this condition i'll write 95 so 95 is less than 100 and greater than 80 so grade a thing qualifies so let me show you nested di directives like this so now let me write a printf statement here that is you are excellent okay so these both these conditions are true 95 is great less than or equal to 100 and 95 is greater than 80 so both these conditions, grade, grade A and you are excellent will be printed. After that, your result, that is the last printf statement, which is outside if and end if gets printed too. So, so make sure to have end if for every if, okay? So all these three statements gets printed. Now you could optionally even use else derivative so directive sorry not derivative else directive so let me show that to you else so i'll print another statement i'll say you are not that excellent yet okay so if max is 90 uh, sorry 79 which is not greater than or equal to 80 so the else block inside the nested if gets executed that is you are not that excellent yet gets printed so this is how you could write multiple if else or if directives inside if or else block so let me write else block for this outer if statements too it's a directive by the way if else and if enter valid marks now i'll give marks a value which is greater than 100 in that case enter valid marks should get printed along with the last printf statement which is your result so in this case whatever line of code is highlighted that that code will get executed these are smart compilers nowadays okay so instead of writing such nested ifs you could even write you could even use another directive called elif so let me show that to you 
so if max is less than or equal to 100 and max is greater than or equal to 80 let's consider that as grade a l if we can inside l if condition we could write check for max less than or equal to 79 and max greater than or equal to maybe 60 so in that case let's call that as grade b let me copy the whole thing remember you could have optionally have any number of elif elifs inside this if Okay, so if and and if are only the mandatory things, else is optional, elif is optional, you should have only one else if you want to have, but for elif you could have any number of elif statements, it's command actually, it's preprocessor command. So in that case, when else part gets executed, we could say please take retest. Okay. Please retake the test. That's it. Now let me give like 50. So it falls in this category, grade C. So that's how we make use of if, elif, else, and end if. Please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes, and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog, and please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram. LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.